Now the texture. New scene. And let's get the pond example. So get Maya fluids. Create pond. All right. Just go my. Uh, sorry. So we're deleting. I was. Yeah, just follow me, you know, in yeah. your free time. I'll, I'm right now explaining. We'll, we'll soon get into. So you go and create a font, Crelude example, or uh, whatever. I don't know what's that, what's there. So we'll find the first word is fluid, an E. So uh, point, create, create font, and then shade it. Click five. And then we select font, and then we go to textures. Right now is, is Everything is this. Let's close everything else. So it'll be convenient. Density, lustre, turbulence, temperature, fuel, color, surface, shading, textures. Just select everything. And this is the best way to visualize the texture because Maya doesn't give us any preview and it's really you have to guess each time when you do the especially 3d fluids when it's hard to slow to render <coughs> slow to simulate, you have to you know guess and comes with experience but right now we can see what it does for example you go so we have a uh, different ways to simulate to calculate it so let's keep it what yeah below is kind of wavy I think so perlin noise, and then see the threshold. It's kind of moving up and down. You can change the amplitude. You can add. You can make it, you know, add the amplitude. But it's still gonna clip it on the on the top and bottom. Ratio. You can add ratio and make. No, you can't. No. Fre oh, okay, we have frequency ratio here. Let's so like make. Amplitude one. So here we have frequency, depth, maximum. We can have a little inflection. We can invert texture, texture time. See, so it's kind of waves going. So in this case, we can do and say expression, texture time. Say right click. Sorry, I'm going too fast. I guess. Say right, right click and say create new expression. And then we go texture time, copy paste equal equal time. Create. And we have this kind of waves here because now the time each time each frame it goes it moves up one unit. We can do minus time for example time minus one. Or minus time, and it'll go opposite direction. Uh, frequency, lots of frequency. Texture, texture region is a uh, when you want, like when you want the texture goes when you you know blow, blast up something and you want that texture goes up so you, that's another uh, useful text, texture uh, the expression delete, delete this one and origin it will move so if you we can set key or we can just make expression as well same kind of expression with equal time time in second <coughs> per second frame in frame time it means second huh So now it goes up. Let's lead one, this one and then go so we can see it better. Let's make this one. Create new expression and then X, X. Texture region X equal time. And since it was going too fast, point. So make it 10 times slower. Create. That's what's going on. It just, it's like you have a 3D, for example, if you have a 3D uh, texture node and you move it around, like on your object, like this. Let me show you. Surfaces. Yeah. 
Yeah, cube is good. Let's scale it up. So hypershade. It's a texture. It's texture coordinate. So if we get like Lambert and I say we want color to be a color. I want it to be what is that? 3D. 3D texture uh, stuck or would work. <clears throat> One of those. And then select the cube, right click, assign material, shading mode. And now, right now we have this placed 3D texture node right here. See that cube? So if we move it around, we see how our texture moves. Same thing. It's exactly the same thing. It moves uh, the region of our texture, the, the position of the center. So what we did, we wrote expression. We can also key that. We can just go and instead of instead of writing expression here. Uh, it. And we say on frame zero, we'll say zero, right? Set key, and then a frame hundred, we'll move it in positive x for like 50 units. Let's see. Too much. Go back, and let's say five units, so we see the better. Set key. Still too much. Let's say four and five. Yeah. That's it, and then stop. See, it? because we don't have expression, it will stop at the last key. So that's about the texture implode. Boom. That's good for you know explosions. And also you can move to center around. See if you if you hold control. If you have a Apple key, whatever in Mac, you hold Control, middle mouse button. You can adjust that value so you, your 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 center moves around or that way. Now up, up doesn't work, okay, because we have 2D. All right, so we can set up to zero. Implode or explode. And then there's also, uh, okay, we can go parallel noise below. Below has this waves, and we have a bit more control. We have below density, sportiness, size random, less random. And then there's a volume wave. That's, yeah, that's wavy, see? All kind of methods. Cool stuff. And then let's do convert. I like it. Modify, convert, fluids to polygon. Yep. Here, we model something. That's it. Our fluid is gone, and we have like polygon model. So I don't know what to do with that, but maybe tile, you know? Some. Industrial design. Right here. Okay. So this were textures.